Hello, let's do the final game in class handouts for the signaling game, the second uh, class handouts. And after this video and after video 22 in the other video series, you are ready to do homework seven. So again, after this video and after, fin <coughs> after you finish video 22 in the other series of videos, you are ready to do homework seven, and these games are pretty difficult, so you know, please do try to do the questions, struggle with them. Some of them are tough, some of them have new tricks that I haven't shown yet in you know in the videos I've done. And so try try to do those before you look at the answers. But let's let's do this game, and you know, you can see this question is phrased slightly different. It's not asking you to find the equilibria, it's asking you to say, it's asking you to find when for what values of p does an equilibrium exist so now nature moves left with probability p right with probability one minus p and basically what i mean by this is the players know the value of p we don't and for what values of p does there exist a pooling equilibrium all right as always let's trot let's start with dominant strategies it turns out in these games p is not relevant for whether something's the dominant strategy so we don't have to worry about P. Let's see. Player one's told, hey, you're a lefty. Does he have a dominant strategy? Well, up gives you five or eight. Down gives you 10 or two. Nope, because look, down could be best if it leads to X. But it's possible down could only lead to two, while up leads to more than two. No dominant strategy for lefty. What about righty? Up could give you zero or two. Down could give you five or eight. Yup. Righty has a dominant strategy of down because down at worst gives you five, whereas up at best gives you two. So we'll put a D right here. All right, now let's go on to player two. Player two, you are told up has been played. So you are somewhere here. Let's see, if you knew you were on the left, you would want X. And if you knew you were on the right, oh, you'd also want X. So see, player two has a dominant strategy because you want to play X if you were on the left or the right. So let's put a D here. And of course, this is the same X, right? You got to do both. So we'll put a D here. Now, what if player two is told that down has been played? Well, if down has been played, player two will say, if I knew I was on the left, I would want y. If I knew I was on the right, I would want x. So no dominant strategies. All right, can we figure out any more? Because we've figured out two of the four pieces of our puzzle. Maybe that's enough. Let's see, do we know enough here? We know if you're lefty, up gives you five. Unfortunately, down could give you more than five or less, so we haven't figured that one out yet. And for player two, if player two is told down, Player two would know, hey, I know I'm either here, I'm either in a separating equilibrium where I'm here, or I'm in a pooling equilibrium. And if, but if I'm in a pooling equilibrium, I don't really know the probability to assign to my being here or here. So that really means you can't figure it out. Okay, so we can't go any farther without thinking about P, figuring out what to do. Ah, but there is something, there is a hint. This game is not asking us to solve for all the equilibria. It's just asking us to solve for the pooling equilibria. Remember, pooling equilibrium means both types of player one, lefty and righty, do the same thing. Well, we know that righty is always going to go down. So if there is indeed a pooling equilibrium, and the question seems to imply there is one, it must mean that lefty goes down. So if lefty were to go up, it has to be a separate equilibrium. Okay, we, we need that for our equilibrium. Now, what else do we know has to apply to this equilibrium? Well, why is lefty willing to go down? If lefty goes up, he gets five. If lefty goes down, and there's an equilibrium where lefty goes down, he better be getting 10, right? There, there can't be an equilibrium where lefty goes down and he ends up only getting two, because we know if he went up, he would get this five. So, if there is indeed pooling equilibrium, it must be this. Okay, let's see. Can this be a pooling equilibrium? Can this be a no-regret equilibrium? And well, 
maybe be this will tell us this will limit what p can be let's let's start we have four things let's see player one in this equilibrium do you regret down you're getting 10 up you if you've gone to something different you would have gotten five so no you do not regret going down given player two strategy of x on top and x on the bottom player one if you're a righty now you never regret your dominant strategy player two if you're told up is played of course you don't regret your dominant strategy how could you Player two, if down is played, well, you're going to get X will give you one or three, and Y will give you four or zero. So which is better? We want X to be better, but of course that's going to depend on P. So P, if there's a pooling equilibrium, P needs to be such that if down is played, player two is better off, or at least no worse off, playing X than Y. So if you play X, your player two, down is played, you play X, you get one with probability P, and you get three with probability one minus P. And this has to be greater than, well, if you played Y, you would get four with probability P, and you would get zero with probability one minus p. So the, sorry, you cannot see that, can you? So that is the inequality that has to hold for player one, sorry, that's the inequality that has to hold for player two to play x if down is played. And recall the only possibility of a pooling equilibrium is if player two responds to down with x. So if we solve for this, we get p plus three minus three p is greater than equal to four p. Or let's see, we get um, four, sorry about this. We get three is greater than equal to six p, so p has to be less than or equal to one half. So there is, oops, yeah, there we go. So there is a pooling equilibrium if p is less than or equal to one half. And I, well, thank you. And please now. You know, watch up to video 22 in the other series and do homework seven. Goodbye.